Well, folks, here we are. The eighth and final level of Trespasser, the Summit. It's been a good run, but everything's got to end sooner or later, so let's get this show on the road. Now here we start the level at the top of the elevator we rode up in the last level. And like the last level, we start out defenseless with raptors skulking around. So I think our first order of business is we're going to have to defend ourselves. Okay, you know what? Scratch that. I think our first order of business is going to be getting someplace the raptors can't get to us. Now, if I run behind one of these electrical sheds here, there's a dumpster tipped over around the back I can use as a step to get up on the roof. So, we're going to do that. Looks like Mr. Guy is still on us. He's a persistent one, isn't he? Well, would you get a load of that? Looks like we're still having that compression problem. So here we find the Site B wind farm. I suppose this is how they get their electricity, but I see a small problem here. These appear to be fairly small scale wind turbines, and near as I can figure, I'd say they're rated at about 5 kilowatts or so a piece. Now, the thing is, that's nowhere near enough to power this island. Um, hello? Hello? Anyone out there? I need help. This is the United States Navy Priority Channel. Identify yourself or clear the air. Ha! I mean, yes. Yes, I'm here. I'm on Site B. Right, right. We get this a lot. Listen, please clear the channel. No, I'm not kidding. I'm on Site B. I'm on the Dinosaur Preserve, for God's sake. Be advised. We're triangulating your location. And the transmitting of this frequency is a violation of... I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get me out of here. We've got people in the area. We're dispatching a helicopter to your current location. Thank you. I mean, roger that. Over and out. I suppose they do have other modes of power around here, though. They do have the dam back in level 4. And there's a missing level called Pine Valley that eventually became the demo level. The objective of that level was to restart the geothermal generator, which was featured in the book, The Lost World. Well, lucky us, Adam someone shot. finally knows we're here. Now our last Eight objective shot. of the game is to get up to the helipad up at the top of the peak. Seven. Four. Three. Two. Looks like seven. Five. Four. Three. Empty. Alright, I think we've cleared this area out pretty nicely. Now it's time to head upstairs and stairs and stairs. Now, I can't help but notice that all those wind turbines have the InGen logo stamped on them. Now, I don't know if that's just their habit of stamping everything they own, or if InGen is some kind of Wayne Enterprises deal where they build everything. Three left. Now, an interesting thing about the guns in this level, and the Franchi SPAS-12 in particular, is that most of the guns have reduced ammo counts for some reason. The SPAS-12 usually has eight shots, and here it's only got four. The Ruger Red Hawk is supposed to have six shots. You pick it up, I think it's got either four or five. And the h and 91 is supposed to have 20 shots, and you pick it up, it's only got ten. I suppose they're suggesting we're not the first person to make it up here. Hello? 
Hello? Oh, damn. I re-triggered the there? sound bite. Sorry, folks. Help. Looks like we're going to listen to this again. I mean, yes. Yes, I'm here. I'm on Site B. Right, right. We get this a lot. Listen, please clear the channel. Open. No, I'm not kidding. I'm on Site B. I'm on the dinosaur preserve, for God's sake. Be advised. We're triangulating your location. And the transmitting of this frequency is a violation. Uh, sir, this, this is coming from the top of Mount Watson. Ha. So, are you in danger? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... Hold your position, ma'am. We've got people in the area. We're dispatching helicopters here. Thank you. I mean, Roger that. Over and out. All right, things are starting to get a little bit tricky. We've got to conserve our ammunition as best we can from here to the end. One shot. Six left. Five. All right, we've gotten off the path a little bit. Got to hop down this ledge. Uh. Dang, looks like I took a little bit of damage there. Christ almighty, where did these guys come from? All right, forget it. We're going up. Five shots. Huh. Hasn't been used. Five. Now straight up ahead, you can see just the edge of the helipad. That is the end of the game, folks. A few weeks after we landed, we went to the summit to put up a crude satellite link. We went by helicopter. Young technicians scrambled to set up the dish as the wind howled. High speed uplink. <laughs> State of the art. If we succeeded, the in-gen technology would be historic. We were planning to conquer time's power over life, its power to extinguish and erase. It would change all our lives, as profoundly, as irrevocably, as the atomic bomb. Here we have a beautiful, sweeping vista of the level so far. I guess under other circumstances, we'd have a beautiful sweeping vista of the entire island, but the draw distance isn't quite up to snuff. This isn't crisis, after all. Well, what have we got here? A pile of bones and a pile of guns. Subtle, they ain't. Now there, you see? All these guns here are at half capacity, probably because chuckle bones over there wasted them on something. Four bullets. Around ten. So we're going to look around a little bit. As you can see, there's not much here, but the electric fence surrounding this entire place is active. If we touch it, that's game over. Now at some point here, I'm going to bumble across the trigger and it will spawn the last enemies of the game. Feels full. Hasn't been used. Well, there you have it. Here we've got the boss of Trespasser, the Alpha Raptor. Nothing too special about him, he's just scaled up a bit, but uh, a little anticlimactic. He's the last enemy of the game, nothing too special there, but uh, well, let's continue on. And of course, the developers aren't going to let us leave without one last box puzzle to see us off. Huh, 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 huh. 
And this part's a little bit tricky. Gotta be careful not to kill myself on the fence or in the fall, as I've done in the past. On that last day, I stood apart from the rest of them. The helicopters were setting down. And before me, the jungle spread out. I saw that a savage primal age had become again. Come on, son. Get us out of here. Well, folks, there you have it, Jurassic Park Trespasser. I appreciate you all coming along on this with me, but what can you say about Trespasser, really? They tried. They tried and they failed, but they still tried. And failure teaches success. I'd like to think that other game companies saw what happened to Trespasser and learned from their mistakes. Sure, there's no question that bad games still come out today, and there's no question that Trespasser is a pretty bad game. But they tried something new, and that deserves mentioning. For all of its faults, for all of its bugs, I still think Trespasser is a damn fun game. And really, at the end of the day, when the game is done and the developers have gone home, what greater compliment than to be able to sit there and say, I made a fun game. Trespasser's over, folks. You can draw your own conclusions about what the game is and whether it's fun or not, but before we go, I've got one last thing to show you. Believe it or not, Trespasser actually has an alternate ending. Here we go. Starts out a lot like the last one. We've got raptors up on our face, and I turn on debug mode. Brings up wireframes of all the models in here. We're going to turn right around and look down, and you can see that we've got a, an invisible pathway down here. We're going to hop down onto it. Now we pretty much just follow this thing down to the end. I know someone earlier made a joke about Anne being a rolling hitbox, but I don't think you guys realize exactly how true that is. I'm going to look down in a minute and you'll see that Anne's mode of locomotion is a rolling cube. And so here we are at the end. We're going to wrap things up with a poem that pretty nicely sums up the entire Trespasser experience. This is Research Indicates signing off. Have a good one. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, Half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal these words appear, my name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away.